Hey guys, GCC2224 bringing you my technically third G.I. Joe Retaliation review. Um, uh, I went out to Walmart today and I saw some new G.I. Joe Retaliation stuff and I also saw some new Transformers and I missed out on Smokescreen. But, um, taking a look at this guy, he's uh, in the package right now. I'm, I'm going to open this guy up unlike my re uh, Red Ninja and Cobra Commander review. Uh, um, here's the back of the card or the box or whatever you want to call it. Uh, this is the, uh, Ninja Duel Snake Eyes that came, um, it's the, uh, more movie-accurate one. And, uh, now nah, I'm a huge Snake Eyes fan, so I really wanted to get this figure. And let's dig into him. Uh, so I'm going to, uh, very, um, carefully get a Zacto knife here, or just, you know, because this is my Zacto knife. Uh, typically I do use a Zacto knife, but with this card, I just really couldn't care. So I'm just ripping into it. Ah! Oh! Oh! By the power of Grayskull, I have the power! Okay, it's, um, here's the, the box. Um, and here's the tray. Here is the plastic tray with the figure inside, the gimmick inside, the accessories inside. Ooh, let's dig into them. So, uh, first thing he comes with is the thing that no one cares about, is this gimmicky launcher thing. Um, it's a rope, it's technically something you clamp onto something, and it's a rope, so it's technically a zip line. It's just a zip line thing, you know. It's supposed to fire, you just imagine this clips onto something, and it just, you know, zip lines. It's a pretty cool gimmick, uh, certainly have seen this before in the line. You know, it just plugs in, and then here's the button. You know, it, it's a it's a pretty silly gimmick. I don't see why anyone would care, so that's out of the way. Um, here's his gun. Uh, pretty neat looking gun, I must say. Pretty cool looking, actually. Really do dig that. And here is... I really... What is this thing? Huh, does it say on the box? I'm going to look on the box here soon. But I'll get into that. Here's his sword sheath. A sheath of swordness. I see that this thing, whatever, not that, whatever this is, it plugs onto there, so we're, we're gonna see what that is. I think it's just an extra sheath. Looking down there, it's empty. Who knows? Who knows? Uh, up here, he has two knives. And if you hear the phone ringing, congratulations, you have good, you have good hearing. But he also has a pistol. And he also has a fully posable three and three quarter inch action figure. Um, this is the least. This is my least favorite accessory right here. This fully posable three and three quarter inch action figure. It's a uh, pretty lame. <laughs> no, it's the reason why I bought it. Uh, and you're actually going to see my very first thoughts on this figure. Um, because I just got it out of the box live. And let's put him on a stand. A stand here. So overall, this is the. Sn oh, dang! He fell. Didn't even want to bam. Didn't even want to be on the stand. Does he even fit on the stands? There we go. Uh, let's see on the back of the box what that thing is. Um, it doesn't say, so I'm just gonna go without knowing. Um, this figure, dang. Dang. This thing's cool. This thing's sweet. Dang, man. This is, this is, this is cool. Uh, <laughs> I recommend this. If you're gonna want to get one G.I. Joe Retaliation figure, I, I, I'm just gonna say this one. Um, but let's get into the accessories first. He has his sword sheath, which you can just plug onto his back like so. No problem. He has this, he has his swords. Uh, they don't have any paint on the blade, but they have paint on the uh, handle. So, you know, you can just sheath these in. What the, what? Dang, that's, that's, whoa. I thought those were sheaths. Um, let's see here. Uh, this thing. This is actually the sword sheath, I think. This is actually the sheath, so... Let's plug this in. That just goes right in. And, um... I think both swords just sheath into this. And does the other one sheath into it? Both swords are identical. Um, same size, same everything. No! Dang, that only fits one. Huh, that's weird. Is this... That is weird. Is that a short sword sheath? I think that's a handle for the for the gun. Um, let's get the gun here. 
Yeah, this is a holster for the gun. Um, you can just get the pistol right here. Just holster it in. That's the holster for the gun. Pretty cool looking. Um, and then right here, I think this is the holster for the knives. So you can slot a knife in there. And it's only, you only have room for one sword and one knife actually on the guy. You have uh, an extra sword that doesn't have a home and an extra knife that doesn't have a home. And let's actually fix the lighting here. I actually do not like the lighting right now. So let's just prop him there. And readjust the lighting. Uh, okay, so this is lots better. <laughs> um, and he also has a gun, which, you know, he can just hold the gun. No problem, you know, I'm just not going to do it right now. Uh, so let's get into articulation. Uh, articulation is a really good ball jointed neck. I mean, this is one of the best ball jointed necks I've seen in the Jova in a, in a while. Uh, good ball jointed shoulders and ball hinged elbows. Uh, ball hinge wrists, both are the, you know, right hand clone trooper style, let's say that. He has a good ball jointed waist, doesn't really go up and down, but it goes side to side. He's got uh, the G.I. Joe hips that are really nice. He has dual hinged knees, and uh, finally he has ball hinged ankles. I mean, these G.I. Joes, I'm serious. These are the best three and three quarter inch figures that you're ever going to find. I mean, just look at a clone here. Um, they're kind of taller. But they're just, you know, more articulation, more detail, and they're cheaper. These things are cheaper. Um, the movie figures are more expensive, but the older figures, uh, they're like eight bucks back in like 2011. I mean, uh, so let's get his gun in his hand. As you can see, this video isn't as uh, good as some of my others because this is a first impression video. I'm trying to show you everything that I learn. I'm learning as I go along. So. so this video is kind of interesting for you guys. You know, you can hold his gun, you know, probably do it better, you know. By the way, my Snake Eyes impersonation is really good. You want to hear it? Okay, let's go. Okay, so, um, <laughs> you know, you can get a sword here. You can hold it, you know. It, it's a standard G.I. Joe. You got everything. Um, his knife, he doesn't, this knife doesn't have anywhere to go, so... You know, that's you're gonna have one accessory that's left behind unless you can find a room to like squeeze one in. So that's kind of a shame. But um, uh, overall, I'm actually really impressed by this guy. Looking at the detail of his helmet, how it's just you know painted and sculpted, how it has a uh, the black paint on the black molding to kind of accentuate certain parts. Um, you know how it has the chest armor and right there, I think that's the Rashi Kage logo. Yeah, that is. And on the other side, he doesn't have it. You know, really nice detail all around. Really nice legs. They look static when he's just standing normal, but, you know, they're, they're double uh, hinged. So, you know, you got that. Uh, the only articulation I really uh, don't like about G.I. Joe's is that they don't have a uh, um, thigh swivel or a knee swivel. Um, that kind of sucks. But it's, you know, it's actually pretty good. Uh, this is certainly one of my favorite Snake Eyes figures I do have. And I have a decent amount of Snake Eyes figures. Um, still not the ultimate, but uh, this thing is actually pretty impressive. Uh, if you're just like, if you watch the G.I. Joe Retaliation movie and like it, and you want like a few figures from it or one figure from it, this is the figure I would certainly recommend. Um, it's, a, it's just really cool, and I really do like how they did execute it. I mean, I'm really happy I picked this up. Uh, these things are about 10 bucks, uh, 10 bucks a figure. I really think it's worth it um, for the articulation, accessories, etc. Um, just really overall impressed. Um, he doesn't want to stand on a stand too well, but he, he he's really good. I mean, just by even not even trying, I got him in a really cool pose. So I'm certainly going to get uh, a few more of this toy line. Um, you know, probably after I see the movie, I'm going to get a few more figures, but I'm glad I picked up the Snake Eyes. So that is it with this video. Make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. Check out my Facebook page if you have a chance. Have a good day, and yo, Joe.